Well, I think this is just an, an awesome idea, and and given the uh, large numbers of uh, ASD uh, young adults that are just about ready to uh, go to college, I think this is a program that I hope would uh, would grow exponentially. I mean, we desperately need programs like this. Are there other programs, or are you are are is your organization pretty much uh, the the main one out there? Well, there are there are lots sprouting up, and I've been I, you know I speak all over the country and all over the world, and I try to help out, especially high schools that are developing programs and curriculum because we just freely give that away. But um, but I would say ours is probably I don't know of any program more comprehensive than ours. So ours is really more like a manager clinic of you know I would you know in in that sense, and we have levels within our program too. But ours is like more a more comprehensive model. There are lots of colleges now who have some more expanded uh, supports than a regular learning disabilities office at a college would have for Asperger's. There's a few of them that are developing that. They still don't do all of the, you know, residential supports, all of the other things that we do in our curriculum, which is they, so they do like maybe a social thinking group or um, some social mentors, which we have. They're usually doctoral students who help the student to uh, learn their social thinking skills, and they do their special interests in the community with them to bring out um, their skills and they're sort of age appropriate and someone who has really good boundaries who can help them and they accept a lot more hearing from them than they do me being, you know, an old fart. They really accept it from those people a lot more. Okay, so so finally, uh, now obviously you have a certain number of people. You said you were about half full now. Uh, how right. can... How can parents that would like to take advantage of this get in contact with you? Give us the uh, give us the web ad- web address again, and what is the deadline for enrolling in this two week Berkeley course? Okay, the Berkeley course starts in uh, in June, sometime late June. So that would be in the next few weeks. They would need to contact, and they can go to the website again. It's collegeinternshipprogram.org. I mean dot com. I'm sorry, dot com and. Uh, they can go there and they can get all the information on the summer program and our regular programs if they want to apply to any of our programs. And those students uh, are from all, all over the country, and we have foreign students even. So um, they can contact us through that. Well, great. Well, Dr. McMahon, I, uh, McMahon, I, I really appreciate you being on the show. And one thing I'd like to do is have you return after the program to give us a little bit of uh, information on how it all went and uh, and what the benefits were from some of the uh, some of the participants, I'd really love to hear about how that went. Sure, thank you, Kurt, for having me on. Well, I really appreciate it, and I wish you all the best. And I hope that this is uh, this program has uh, done its part in getting your program full and benefiting those that desperately need it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. With you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was Dr. McManman, and it seemed like a really nice guy. You know, it's amazing when you when you talk to people uh, like Stephen Shore, who who he met, uh, Dr. McManman mentioned, who I just absolutely adore. That man, I I met him for the first time at Autism One last year, and just an incredible, incredible guy. And uh, there, he's in good company if he's if he's uh, close with uh, with with Dr. Shore. But uh, you know, that just seems like. We need a lot more programs like this out there, given given the you know think about it, all the kids out there right now that are diagnosed, even from the eighties when it was one in five thousand or or one in seven thousand that's a hell of a lot of kids that are now growing up and and we we always seem to talk about it in the in the uh Especially on this show, I don't know why it is. Maybe it's just my personality, but we talk about all the problems that we're going to have with these kids growing up. Um, be going into their teenage years and their adult early adult years with the penal system and worrying about how they're going to act with police officers that we had that story a while ago about the police officers that assumed that the autistic child was drunk and arrested him uh things like that but this is a positive i mean these these are people that are addressing this issues these issues on a very positive note and and i'm very impressed with it and anybody out there I'm going to be putting a link to um, 
to this website on my website today and uh you know it just seems like it, it it's a wonderful idea and definitely something that uh has to has to uh, progress into even more comprehensive there's going to be a lot of kids out there that could really benefit from something like this well and i think it would be wonderful for people to get a hold of um the doctor about coming and speaking at their college to get this started at colleges all across the nation yeah. because it's absolutely a need you know they they talk about these kids and say you know well what are we going to do with them and then they don't do anything right you know and his program sounds it's absolutely comprehensive that is going to benefit these kids for the rest of their lives to teach them life skills and stuff that you know they don't learn that stuff in high school right how to interact and you know a lot of times they're just given menial tasks in high school where this actually teaches them how to use their abilities and their what they're really good in in real life well, and, and I also like the fact that that mentor program isn't just about getting them through college. Right. You know, it's about helping them with their life skills, and, mm -hmm. and that is so important because, you know, like uh, like Dr. McManaman was just saying, um, parents think, oh, if, if they could just get their degree, everything will be fine. And, you know, or if even if they can just get graduated from high school, everything will be fine. They'll get out. You know, they got a full life ahead of them. Asperger's, autism, all the ASDs, there's no – uh, early death involved with this disability. These people are going to grow up and they're going to grow old and and they need those life skills. And, and that's one thing that I really like about this particular program is it's not just getting these kids through school, you know, and through their studies. It's about changing their lives. 